Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to create our three levels, and I will just uh, set up the three levels because uh, we want three levels, uh, and then we will select one level from our level select system. So, for that purpose, we will first set up some scenes. So, I will go to scenes. Uh, so, not scene this is from actually the another asset I have just imported. So, we will go to scenes and we have these scenes uh, right now. We will go to work scene because in work scene we have these things already added in uh, canvas, visual etcetera. So, uh, here what we will do, we will just uh, uh, save the scene save as and we will name this scene to uh, I think uh, what we can name it city uh, hunter like this. F so, first scene is city hunter. Uh, we will just uh, save the same scene and we will name it uh, snow hunter like this and one more scene we will add and save as and we will add one more scene which will be uh, for example night hunter maybe and we will definitely uh, set up s uh, some scenes later on ok. But initially, we have just re, uh, na uh, created some scenes with these names. So, now we will bring our environments and we will set up our environments. So, for environments, uh, what we will do, I just have uh, created this modern city and inside prefabs, we have these prefabs actually and uh, scene city 4 and this is scene city 4, I will just open this scene and then we will make prefab for this city's environment. So, we will just open this scene and it is taking some time ok that is nice. So, now you can see we have these elements and objects in this scene ok and lighting and a lot of things. So, these are not uh, added into one game object. So, we will create a game object and we will name it city city environment like this environment and then we will select all the objects inside this environment and we will drag drop these objects inside this game object which is city environment like this. So, also we do not need camera in this uh, environment. So, we will delete the main camera because we will get our camera with uh, uh, the uh, other scene. So, after that we will just make a prefab of this. So, we will go to prefab and here we will create another folder and here we will say environment like this and we will drag drop the city environment here. So, now we can place this environment at our uh, desired position. Uh, we will mo move back to uh, another scene which will be this winter scene. I just have bring that scene as well. So, I think adventure 2. Yeah, this is the another scene, but we do not have any pre made scene here. So, we have to create our own scene. So, it is a difficult to uh, it is little bit difficult. So, for time I will just uh, what I will do I will just uh, delete this asset for time later on I will bring other uh, see, uh, environments as well and we will place that environments inside our related scene. But for now we will use the same environment for three all three scenes ok just for testing purpose. So, we will go to scenes uh, 
and uh, here we will just uh, uh, in city hunter we are in city hunter scene so we will go to prefabs and environments and we will drag crop this environment right here so now we have our environment you can see and uh, uh, I think there is uh, some problem with lighting and other thing so that's why we can't see our environment in a right manner so what we have to do for solving this issue we will uh, just bring that scene over here okay so uh, but when we will bring that scene you can see that these uh, things we need aim canvas we need uh, uh, event system third person camera and we game controller and we UI that will go on okay so what we can do we can go to prefabs and we will make these prefabs we will just select these things and we will uh, event system also okay that's fine and we will make uh, drag drop these prefabs here one by one actually we UI we game controller we don't need we game controller I will just delete it we don't uh, need it at all uh, third person camera we need and then we need uh, aim canvas and event system just we, we can add this no problem so now we will go to our modern city environment and first we will go to scenes and we will delete these scenes because we don't we will recreate it uh, by save scene as ok so that uh, with that process so we will just delete the city hunter as well now we will go to uh, uh, our modern city we will open the scene and now we will save this scene so in this scene everything is fine lighting and everything so we will go to file save as and we will name first scene as city just city ok no problem just city we will again save this scene the same scene I am saving for now and inside uh, scenes we will add another scene and I will just name it industry industrial ok like this one more scene we will save save scene as and we will see save the scene as uh, as night like this ok so we have three scenes so the names are very important ok so you should remember that names are very important I think we have mesh colliders yeah we have mesh colliders so that's fine we have everything enabled so that's fine so now what we will do we will go to our uh, first scene which is our city scene and inside city scene we will create a spawn point where we want to spawn our player okay and as you know that we have already created a function for spawning system so here I will say player spawn point and now we will tag it spawn point like this okay so this spawn point we can adjust it anywhere where we want to spawn our player and you can see that we can't exactly know what is the spawn position so I think we should create a cube first and that is a better way so in this way we will know that where our character will spawn so maybe here okay let's spawn it here so I will just uh, make it player spawn point and we will change the tag to spawn point also we will delete box collider we will delete mesh renderer we don't need it all, all. so we are, uh, have created spawn point 
in the city environment also we will add the prefabs so prefabs we will drag drop AP, aim canvas event system v third person camera and v ui uh, hopefully you understand so now we will go to our second scene which is our uh, industrial scene so we'll open the industrial scene and here again we will create a cube and we can uh, assign it uh, anywhere so i will just place it here let's add it here and we will make we can name it player spawn point and you can name it whatever you want it's not necessary to add similar name but this name is important and you can see player spawn point so we didn't save that that's why it's gone so also for this scene we also need that prefab so we will drag drop aim canvas even system third person camera and vui that's nice we will go to our last scene which is our night scene and in night scene we will repeat the process cube we can place this cube over here on the bridge maybe like this and uh, we will again change the name to spawn uh, point and uh, we can delete the mesh and remove component and we will name it player spawn point uh, that's nice now uh, we will again add the prefabs here so we will add aim canvas event system this one and this one so that's nice we will move back to our second scene which is industrial and uh, I will fix one thing that uh, here when we add the spawn point we have not deleted mesh so I will just delete the mesh so that's nice now uh, moving further we will go to scenes and level select menu and here we will create our uh, where it is yeah because level select and why it's like this i don't know i will just play and i will recheck it because i don't know why <coughs> it looked like this let's play the game loading and now we are in yeah that's fine uh, yeah actually that this is the level select this plane is just uh, without any reason so here is our scene and now we will create some more objects here so before uh, for that I think we should move in next video we will create a level select system in next video goodbye